I heard some rumors that Discard Warlock was taking over Wild, so I decided to hop over and give it a try myself, and after a rocky start, I then won 39 games in a row before finally losing another one. So the star of the show here is the new Soul Barrage, a 5 mana spell that deals 6 damage randomly split among enemies, but it also triggers if you discard it. And the best way to make use of this is going to be with the Expired Merchant. So we can discard it, deal 6, and then get 2 more in the hand. And then with the 2 in the hand, we can use either like Cataclysm or Tome Tampering, which is actually, those are actually good cards in Wild, because we can use a Malchazar's Imp, so when we discard our whole hand, we get a whole new hand. And it's just very powerful. This deck has so much from hand damage potential with Soul Barrage and Fist of Jaraxxus. And of course this deck can make some pretty insane boards as well. With Silverware Golem, the new Walking Dead, and even Tiny Knight of Evil is a menace in this deck. Alright, I've reached the point where it's going to just be mirrors every game, huh? That's okay, because I'm more skilled than my opponents. And also I drew Expired Merchant, which is the best card in my deck. My hand is insane. I would love to know the sex win rate when it has a Merchant Barrage in the opener. Probably nutty. And Tome Tampering is very good when I have double Soul Barrage in hand. Oh, you just die. Okay, this game is actually over already. Is there a world where I have lethal next turn? No, no, my double soul barrage is only going to deal 12. Okay, that tiny knight of evil is big. Even if they have like a tome tampering, this thing doesn't get that big. Could hold Solarium to go with Malkazar Zimp, Tome Tampering next turn. Let's start with Kobold Librarian. Scourge Supplies. So this dies, it puts me up to 8 cards, I drop to 9. I think I can just tap here, honestly. Could Soulfire the Tiny Knight of Evil, but I don't even think it's worth it. I think I'm better off just going, uh, Malkazar Zimp, Solarium, Coin Tone Tampering next turn. Uh, I have Lethal if Soulfire doesn't discard Tome Tampering, but I don't really think I need to go for it, because my deck is just going to be a bunch of discounted damage cards. And my opponent's going to have no board. You are not the boss of me. And I drew Soul Barrage, so my opponent's dead anyway. Classic turn four lethal. Turn 4 lethal, and I had 14 damage in hand next turn for 3 mana. Up against Priest. Soul Barrage is the best card in my deck. Malkazar Zimp is just barely worth keeping, if I remember correctly. Not the best hand. I don't even remember what this quest does. Right, they want to heal a bunch. I think I don't really care about that quest, to be honest. Let's see if they have an answer for Tiny Knight of Evil. If not, maybe I go for uh, Wicked Whispers next turn. Oh, that is a Wicked Whispers card. You are not the boss of me. Here we go. 
All right, insane turn two board. And as soon as I pick up a Tome Tapering or a Cataclysm, my hand does 12 damage. Okay, good potion. But they leave up a lot of power here. Solarium. Let's just go Scourge Supplies, I think. There's my Tome Tampering. And I think I'll take a 2-5 here. So, if Tiny Knight of Evil lives, uh, Tome Tampering does... 17 damage, plus whatever the... plus the 6 from the, uh, Tiny Knight of Evil. Actually, I can make it do even more than that, because I can Solarium Tome Tampering. Yeah, this is just lethal. Turn four. It's definitely my best lethal so far. Oh, this hand is very stinky. Okay, this hand is disgusting. Might be a turn two imp solarium. Shadow Priest. Shadow Renathal Priest. Come on, you're not playing like Baku as well? Coward. I guess Baku makes no sense with Benedictus. Oh, I drew an Imp and a freaking Hand of Gul'dan, so I'm going to overdraw no matter what I do here. I guess that's not true. I could just end my turn. kind of don't want to waste the Imp, but if I play the Imp, I go down to... I discard three and draw five. I think I just end my turn. Okay, found a Tome Tampering. Tome Tampering's pretty nice. I have four discard synergy cards. Don't lose Imp, please. Oh my god, that's so bad. Alright, this might be the L if they can deal with my Tiny Knight of Evil. That Soulfire discard is really bad. Okay, I'm gonna play Tiny Knight of Evil with Tome Tampering next turn, I guess. I can't discard this Hand of Gul'dan. Oh, I can use that with Tome Tampering next turn, though. No, that's good. Tiny Knight of Evil, Tome Tampering. So which of these would I rather shuffle into the deck? I think a Tome Tampering. I can put a decent amount of damage into that. Oh, expired merchant. Why do I have a hand of Gul'dan in my hand? Do I want a coin here? So I can play something I draw off hand of Gul'dan? Probably not. Please kill Bran. Vister Draxus is a 50-50, and then I also have Soul Barrage, which is fairly likely to kill it. Nice, nice, nice. If they can deal with this Tiny Knight of Evil, I'm in trouble. But it's not that easy to deal with. They need Light It Burns. I guess a Silence would be strong. Actually, I guess at this point they could just play like Light Bomb. This is Zephyrus gets Shadow Word Death. Or a uh, Big Game Hunter, actually, maybe. Two fives do pretty well against my opponent's board here, though.
I'm mostly just worried about clean the scene. That's a pretty bad start to the turn. Hysteria. Okay. Pretty sure that was the best outcome for me. My opponent does play Reno, so I probably don't fist here. It's going to be the lifesteal thing, Spirit Lash. Scourge Supplies is probably the best card I could draw at this point. Oh, and we easily discard Hand of Gul'dan. Alright, we're cooking, we're cooking. Expired Merchant for Soul Barrage. Unfortunately, these are discounted, so Wicked Whispers doesn't discard the egg. I guess this is fine. So if they clear my board, my Cataclysm does 16 damage. And I have a lot more damage in my deck. Actually, almost everything in my deck is damage. Including that, which is lethal. Wow. I thought for sure I was losing this game when Big Game Hunter came down. Third mirror in a row. I should probably just anticipate mirrors every game from here on out. If Tiny Knight of Evil can stick, this hand is possibly pretty good. But otherwise, it's not great. Can I coin it? It deals with my opponent's Tiny Knight of Evil. It gets fucked by Expired Merchant. I think I need to play it. My hand is just so bad. Alright, I think I lose. Ouch. Okay, I can play my Solarium here. And what a bad Solarium it was. How is it even possible for my Solarium to be that bad? I guess I'll just give them a threat to deal with. They can kill it on board, but if they have to trade all this stuff off, that's kind of okay. That was my opponent's turn. I've never been more scared of anything in my life. Wrong big spell. If this had been a soul barrage, I think I might have had a chance. Tome tamper. I might have to cataclysm this. So please draw Malkazar Zimp. Okay. I drew Malkazar Zimp. And my opponent's hand is like pretty small. If they don't have damage, maybe I'm in an okay spot.
Am I dead? Not dead. What does my Cataclysm do here? Double Soul Barrage, Fist of Jaraxxus is 16 damage. I summon a Silverware Golem, a Walking Dead, and Boneweb Eggs. I also draw three. I have a Fist of Jaraxxus in deck. I might even be favored from this position, but I definitely can die. <laughs> what the hell? How did I win this game? What the fuck? Love Soul Barrage and Kobold Librarian is good as well. I don't know why I said it like that because Kobold Librarian is the better card off the mulligan, but Soul Barrage is just so nasty when it works. The last hunter I played against, I think, was literally just standard Beast Hunter with like Renathal and Wild Spirits and such. So maybe that's what I'm up against here. Gotta be a Kobold Librarian. And then I think next turn has got to be Tiny Knight of Evil. I will go ahead and investigate that secret. Uh, could be Ice Trap. Could be Rat Trap. I think I will go ahead and play coin here to check for uh, check for ice trap. Expired merchant with soul barrage might change things, but scourge supplies is still good. And if I draw into hand of Gul'dan, I can just discard it, so expired merchant can still hit what I wanted to hit. Pressure plate is a card. That was the fresh secret though, so I know this isn't freeze, so that's fine. There's the Hand of Gul'dan that I definitely want to discard. And it is Rat. Maybe I shouldn't have played Kobold Librarian here. But also my hand is fucking nuts, so... I think it's fine. I expired Merchant to get two Soul Barrages, and then my hand is triple Soul Barrage Fist of Jaraxxus with Malchazar's Tome Tampering. Well, that's a bad overdraw, but that's fine. God, imagine if I had actually gotten to play that this turn. That would have been nasty. So, assuming my guy dies, which it should, then my hand will deal 22 damage next turn. Oh, that's a big board. I'm not cataclysming though. You are not the boss of fight. It's a lot of stats to soak up my soul barrages. But it's also a lot of damage from soul barrages. Oh, I drew a Cataclysm. That might just be lethal. Opponent's a 21. Cataclysm does 14. Wow, what a bad card. I did draw, 
pretty much a full hand, or I did draw an actual full hand with Cataclysm there, so maybe it was worth playing, but I think I can just try to draw into like another Soul Barrage so it does even more damage. Speaking of... Lethal. Alright, the ones are good. Full Barrage is excellent. Maybe this is a turn two Tiny Knight of Evil coin Solarium. Renathal for the Demon Hunter, huh? Does Demon have, Hunter have a good way to deal with a five health minion on turn two? I'm sure there's a way for them to deal with it, but I don't know off the top of my head. Oh, Expired Merchant with Soul Barrage. Probably still go Tiny Knight of Evil here. Insane discards. Chaos Leech, okay. Obvious Bone Web Egg. I'm kind of pushing it with this Merchant, because I really don't want to draw a Hand of Gul'dan and then have to discard that. But spending just two mana there seemed kind of ugly. Oh, Fury Rank 1 is very sad. Alright, so assuming the Merchant actually gives me the cards, my Cataclysm now does 16 damage, so we're pretty close to lethal. No Death Rattles can't trigger. Why is that card in your deck? Why? Explain yourself, Demon Hunter. God damn it. Oh, yikes. Pretty bad discards. Oh, please tank four damage. So beaut- oh, I went face. Oh, Glaive Shark. Okay, okay. I'd love to find a Malkazar Zemp here. No Malkazar Zump. Tome Tampering is really strong here. But it leaves me with no cards. I don't even have a Hand of Gul'dan. I I mean, in my bottom seven, I have double Malkazar Zump, double Hand of Gul'dan. So there's like no way that I can actually justify playing Tome Tampering here. Ooh. Still no amp. How likely am I to have lethal here? I need both of my soul fires to not discard cataclysms or fists or soul fires. I think I just have to tap into Malkazar Zump. Wait, that's not even good though, because I'm just running out of cards. I can go tap Malkazar Zump, Tome Tampering, and then draw Cataclysm. I think that's the path to victory. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm not gonna have time, this is how I lose. Uh, oh, that sucks so much ass. This is how my win streak loot ends. 
It should be pretty much guaranteed, if not actually guaranteed. Damn it. Although, I don't know, I might have just gotten renoed. Yeah, that's super lethal. Damn it, I really wanted the 40 win streak, but it ended on 39. Unlucky. 